Hey guys, it's me, Cubix, and today we're going to look at the Moyu Alfu, which always makes me think of tofu. Tofu. This cube was sent directly from Moyu through Crazy Bad Cuber, so a huge thank you to both. The Moyu Alfu stands taller than the Mini Shengxiao 7x7, but feels similar due to the pillowed shape. The stickers are the regular Moyu shades which I enjoy, and haven't shown any signs of damage even though I've regularly solved this cube for 3 weeks. Out of the box, the Aofu felt like a broken in V-Cube 7. Turning was somewhat sluggish, but crisp. The inner layers were tight, but the rest of the layers seemed to be okay. Catching was a constant problem, and I got a few pops as well. I took apart the cube to tension and lube it, noticing a major flaw in the puzzle. The center pieces sit over the core arms, creating a significant contact point. Lubing this area caused turning of the center pieces to be smoother on most sides, but for a couple of them, the fit is too tight, and subsequently, turning on these faces is considerably stiffer. Sanding the core arms should help, but I haven't done this here. After tensioning and lubing, the cube feels a lot faster, but retains the nice, crispy feel. The inner layers feel looser, and all the layers turn evenly, except on the faces with the stiffer center pieces. The feel of the cube makes the reduction stage very pleasant, However, I found the pillow shape to hinder 3x3 stage. My times are about half a minute slower on the Alfu. Of course, how the shape affects you is subjective, but for me, this was a major deal breaker. I usually keep my cubes tight, and I've done the same here. Even on the tight tensions, the cube has occasional pops, but also lockups, which are particularly annoying on this cube. Sometimes the center pieces will switch places, and there isn't a fast way to remove a piece to reassemble the cube. This causes lots of seconds to be wasted. The corner cutting on the outer layers exceeds a QB and is one QB elsewhere. Reverse corner cutting is around half a QB, more than other 7x7s, however keep in mind that QBs are small when we're talking about 7x7s, so the margin of reverse corner cutting we're dealing with here is close to none. Overall, I wouldn't recommend the Moyu Alfu to all cubers. The Alfu is similar in performance to a mini Shengxiao 7x7 with improvements and drawbacks. The cube has a more crispy feel compared to the Shengxiao, and corner cutting is slightly better. But both cubes have lockups and pops, and in my opinion, they're easier to deal with on the Shengxiao. Performance-wise, both cubes are pretty good, and it really comes down to the shape. Although I like the turning and corner cutting of the Alfu a little more than on my mini Shengxiao, I found the pillowed shape to be distracting. If you prefer pillows 7x7, then the Alfu is a great choice. However, especially with price considered, the mini Shengxiao is a better default choice for those unsure. For the final grade, I'm going to give the Moyu Alfu a B-, which is approximately what I would give the Mini Shengxiao as well. Personally, my times were significantly worse on the Alfu, and I really didn't like the pillowed shape, but I can't dock any points for that because it's all personal preference. World record holder Lin Chen uses a V-Cube 7, so clearly the shape isn't the deciding factor for everyone. The Alfu is on par with the Shengxiao 7x7 with slightly better corner cutting, but a more annoying lockup issue. The core does also have some problems, but those should be easy to fix. In all, it's a decent cube, but nothing stellar. Thank you again to Moyu and Crazy Bad Cuber for sending this out to me. I'll have links to popular stores that carry this cube, so if you're interested in purchasing one, be sure to look in the description. Thank you all for watching, and until next time, toodles.